Hey, how are you doing today? Welcome back to the channel. This is the new series. This is the beginning of new series that is named Food Tech Talks. And today I am here with a very special guest, Dr. Deepak Kumar. And he has cracked ICR net exam five times. Can you imagine? And UGC net exam three times. He is a PhD scholar from NIFTEM in the Food Science and Technology Department. And I am really privileged to have him here today because he is also my faculty. He is also my mentor who has guided me through my ups and downs. So I'm really, really privileged, really honored to have you here, sir. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. So, sir, first question for you is why did you choose food technology? It's not like... Uh... Uh, I choose. Uh, I chose. I, I did my graduation from food technology. Uh, at our time, it was very less competition. At our time, uh, the ratio between girls and boys was uh, like uh, one is to three. One is for boys and three is for girls. So okay. nowadays, uh, it is like uh, the competition is uh, very good. It's a very tight competition, and uh, food technology scope is growing day by day. Yes. So uh, this domain, its importance is increasing. Uh, with with time i think uh, food technology uh, should not be uh, merged merged with that uh, home science home thing home science hotel okay. management so uh, that uh, in uh, that uh, earlier video of yours is like uh, that uh, food technologists are not uh, food technology is not hotel management i yeah, think exactly. that was the video yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, look uh, if you are really passionate about uh, food, uh, you want to know the science behind the, what is involved uh, behind the food technology, food processing, all those things. So uh, this domain is made for you. All right. So moving on. So, uh, sir, tell me what is the usual day? So you are a PhD scholar and you have spent a huge amount of time in research and studies in academics. So what is the usual day in the life of a PhD scholar looks like? Uh, usual days like oh, uh, every day uh, you have to you have to like uh, time you have to uh, forget everything you have to forget everything you, if you are involved in research you have to forget everything uh, you have to totally dominate or you have to totally uh, focus 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 yourself uh, on in this research thing okay though so the first six months are like uh, first six months are that coursework so in coursework you study all the courses which are related to your uh, research okay then after that coursework uh, you are totally involved in lab things uh, totally experimentation and writing papers and uh, you have to forget everything like food you have to forget sleep and uh, if you are doing experimentation uh, sometimes it uh, that experiment uh, can go up to like 11 12 hmm. even my experiments go up to like 3 a.m and 4 a.m yes i actually have seen the instagram <laughs> he posts on instagram that uh, at even 3 a.m 3 30 a.m he is posting pictures of experimentation going yeah on, so, so uh, you have to forget everything like time uh, there is no such thing so you have to work very hard and uh, you have to be involved in everything like uh, in NIFTIM uh, we even guide like uh, BTEC students we are uh, guiding BTEC students uh, in collaboration with our uh, like guide okay. uh, under whom I am doing PhD okay, okay. Th uh, these are the all the things uh, research activities writing papers uh, writing papers is a very important thing uh, mm -hmm. you should have that uh, writing uh, uh, thing in, uh, in into you hmm. all right so let us talk about the job perspective uh, for the PhD candidate so according to the current scenario uh, of the food industry in India specifically is there any uh, future for the PhD candidates yeah future is very good actually uh, PhD candidates are uh, right now like in earlier times as well and right now they are involved in teaching jobs yes okay say they usually go for teaching after they uh, after, after completing their PhD Okay, uh, and uh, apart from PhD, there are more domains like uh, since I have uh, uh, R&D background as well, mm -hmm. I did a job for one year in uh, research and development department yes. uh, in one uh, industry. So uh, research and development department is uh, also one domain in mm -hmm. which uh, PhD scholars can go at very good positions. Okay, it's not like you have to go into PhD only. This is the main important question in st uh, students mind uh, these days uh, after PhD what you have to do you have to you will be going for teaching only no you can go for that uh, R&D thing as well yes exactly okay. exactly now a lot of students have asked me that what are the skills that they need to have to be able to pursue PhD 
ओके कमिंग ऑन टू स्किल्स स्किल्स इज लाइक इफ यू वॉन्ट टू परस्यू पी एच डी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू शुड हैव दैट क्यूरियोसिटी थिंग इन टू योर सेल्फ ओके सो इफ यू डोंट हैव दैट क्यूरियोसिटी टू नो अबाउट दिस थिंग या यू यू वॉन्ट टू नो अबाउट दिस साइंस बिहाइंड दिस थिंग इट्स वेस्ट ऑफ टाइम ऑफ डूइंग पी एच डी ओके सो दैट क्यूरियोसिटी वर्ड इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट that should be there uh, in you if you are going for phd uh, apart from curiosity uh, these writing skills uh, also uh, they are very much uh, take very much importance okay writing skills and reading skills if you are reading a research paper how to read a research paper it is very important you don't have to read whole of a research paper at one go okay you have to read that abstract one thing uh, at a uh, at once and then uh, move on to conclusion uh, okay. if you are uh, finding that this uh, research paper is of your uh, like uh, interest hmm. so you can go on to methodology okay so this reading thing uh, is also important uh, and writing skills are have to be there like writing a research paper how to write a research paper and this eth- ethics okay. okay this ethics plays a very important role uh, these days uh, these uh, students are like they are copying research paper from other uh, very bad. Uh, so uh, like ug's uh, ugc's uh, rules are very stringent these days okay they have they have blacklisted all, all the journals uh, which are like uh, which are fake and all the universities which are fake so these ethics are very important in in this domain research domain so we already know that uh, niftem is a such a such great institute to pursue phd but are there any other institutes uh, at the compar- competitive level of niftem to pursue phd specifically yeah there are many institutes and many universities through which phd can be pursued actually these are state universities as well hmm. but uh, i will at my personal level i will recommend uh, like uh, cft rai yes. is the best yes. institute for phd okay. okay and ifpt is also a very good uh, uh, institute okay you can also go for icit mumbai yes, uh, and other state universities are always there hmm. like pondicherry university hmm. is also there and this uh, gunanak dev universities are also there you can pursue phd from these universities as well that's good so if you are uh, finding some valuable information here so don't forget to subscribe and like this video right now now uh, all of us know that niftem is such a prestigious college and there is cut throat competition to get a phd seat so sir how did you secure a phd seat in niftem look uh, coming on to phd seat is like uh, i cleared my masters and i cleared national eligibility test for icr and ugc uh so at net is like uh, you have to clear net uh, to to get eligible for phd okay mm-hmm. after that uh, you have to prepare for interview so in the interview the main thing is uh, you have to have that uh, research uh, topic in your mind mm-hmm. on which you want to do research mm-hmm. okay uh, like you have some small presentation or you have to some small uh, like one page or two page uh, methodology or uh, research proposal okay. thing uh, you should have that uh, ready uh, like at the time of interview hmm. uh, in niftem they want one research proposal at the time of interview and they will ask question from that research proposal only in interview okay okay uh, after like interview uh, there is an uh, written, uh, written test as well for who uh, the students who can't clear that net net or uh, yeah okay. yeah exactly they have that uh, writ- written test as well hmm. so written test is for uh, non net students and for uh, net students it's directly interview directly interview yes. okay so, so that's so, an advantage for yeah, the net, net students. students so icr net ugc net these are very important okay. uh, from this perspective hmm. so uh, one thing i all, uh, i want to mention is uh, like icr is uh, they don't give fellowship if you are clearing net they they will not uh, provide you fellowship hmm. but for ugc uh, if you are clearing net uh, and grf Okay. you will get fellowship okay. from ugc only okay currently uh, at the time of my interview uh, when i got admitted in uh, this um, college at that time uh, i have cleared net but it, uh, i i didn't clear that grf okay uh, so at the time uh, fellowship i i was getting that fellowship from institute only and institute fellowship is um, uh, variable like institute to institute uh, it uh, varies uh, when i cleared grf uh, I, i started getting fellowship from like ugc okay. so now ugc rules are also changed uh, hmm. now uh, earlier that 25000 uh, amount was uh, like given by ugc hmm. now it is 35 31000 oh. 
ओके प्लस एच आर एंड फॉर एस आर एफ इट इज थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड प्लस एच आर ए सो दिस आई थिंक दिस थर्टी वन थाउजेंड इज क्वाइट सफिशियंट अमाउंट फॉर वन मंथ फॉर अ पी एच डी स्कॉलर टू लाइक टू सर्वाइव टू सर्वाइव एंड टू डू रिसर्च एक्टिविटीज टू ब्रिंग ऑल द रॉ मटीरियल एंड ऑल सो सर यू हैव सीन दी अकेडमिक साइड ऑफ योर रिसर्च एज वेल एंड यू मस्ट है लॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स so is there any kind of mistake that the students are doing right now that could be rectified or that could be avoided from students perspective uh, like these days students are studying from presentations the most important thing is uh, like their stu- uh, students are studying for presentations and presentations are uh nothing but notes only hmm. they are like one word or two lines hmm. they are so, like the extract yeah exactly yeah. they are extract and from extract you you'll not get that much knowledge uh, as compared to if you are reading a book yeah so book reading is very mandatory hmm. which is missing these days in students so i recommend every student every student uh, which uh, comes to my con- contact or uh, they'll like ask me what to do sir how will uh, i'll crack net and this uh, ugc net so uh, i t- Uh, literally tell them ki clear uh, study these books matlab read it like you you are reading a novel that's it and underline the ma- uh, main important points uh, write important points in that book only and that book reading thing is uh, important so uh, sir you are you very well know that the food industry and the food processing sector of india and the global food processing sector is so huge and obviously there could be flaws in the sector in the food processing sector or the food industry uh, obviously there are flaws so if possible uh, if you had the power to change or if you had the power to make one change in the food industry or the food processing sector so what would it be it's like uh, according to me according to my perspective uh, the problem is like food industry they have many problems okay when they are processing things they uh, they encounter many problems yes. okay these problems uh, are the main important thing uh, which these research scholars can focus on mm. okay so uh, nowadays like research scholars are like uh, they are searching uh, for internet like uh, on what topic we can do research okay instead of these searching thing you can visit our industry mm. and ask them if they they are they are encountering any problem or not mm. okay if they are enc- encountering any problem uh, they can work on that problem instead of uh, searching it like uh, you are doing that uh, phd for formality thing uh, that's of, that is of no issue no, no use okay uh, so uh, you have to focus on like uh, problem solving part of industry okay so there is a that there is a bridge uh, there should be a bridge between uh, industry and academia yes. that bridge is missing mm. so this bridge uh, have to be there and these problems which are industries are facing like uh, i will recommend like in for industries uh, these industries have to put all all the problems which they are facing on their uh, like uh, on their website for these research scholars mm. uh, that will that will be easy for these research scholars uh, they don't have to visit that uh, industry uh, they can choose like choose choose like which industry uh, which problem uh, these industries are facing mm-hmm. so they can choose that problem they they, they can work upon that problem okay uh, they can choose their guide accordingly mm-hmm. like uh, uh, in which domain like dairy sector is facing this uh, problem and from uh, dairy sector which guide is working uh, like which uh, area of specialization is important area of specialization of that guide is dairy sector you, you can choose that guide and you can choose uh, supervisor from uh, supervisor from that industry and you, you can work uh your phd uh, thing research thing in collaboration with industry okay so this is important and uh, i think this problem solving thing has to be there and this research uh, the industry problem solving thing has to be there okay. according to me all right so uh, these were some of the golden nuggets from deepak sir and these were really such valuable tips for the students who are going to pursue phd or who are just uh, who just want to know more about the phd or the net exam as well so thank you so much sir once again for being a part for uh, contributing to this video for adding value to the lives of subscribers and the viewers who are watching this video right now and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already make sure you give the give this video a big thumbs up and share this video whoever is thinking to uh, you know pursue phd or who wants to know more about phd i will see you next time class dismissed